Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're going to do an episode on my green beans and saving seeds. You know, I really love to come out here and pick what's just growing funky. You know, sometimes you get funky beans, funky peas, it happens. So what I like to do, especially when they get a little cold damage. So this is my bean tote that we had sowed a few months ago growing with some peas that are actually pretty funk. So I wanna show you what's starting to happen over here. I love to show you the good and the bad because it happens when gardening. And um, you know, these the peas over here are doing pretty good. They're, they're looking good, they're jamming, they got tons of growth on them. Um, they're green, healthy, pushing pea pods out from everywhere. So this tote's doing really well, but this tote has gone to poop. <laughs> so what I like to do is just come in here, evaluate the situation, and see what's going on. So we have pea growth. I mean, we're getting peas. I gave this some nutrients, kind of lacked on some nutrients a little bit. So I didn't give it nutrients for, I'd say, about a good three weeks, this tote. Just kind of ignored it because I had a lot going on. Uh, but you know it happens so they started stretching bottom line they don't really look great but I'm gonna let them jam still because they still have some nice green growth on them since I gave them nutrients they're starting to flower look good so I'm gonna let them grow and just uh, try to produce as much as I can off of this now my beans we had sowed a few months ago that are in here you can see we have tender green improved um, I bought a couple of different varieties from the store and sometimes you get these beans that get cold damage so I want to show you how to save and you utilize what's not good now these beans really aren't going to be growing too much right this second because we're going to be getting a cold front coming in next week so these are going to get really stalled out on me they're going to start you know turning yellow let me see if i can show you guys a little pick right there do you see that bean right there how terrible that looks because that's from the cold it's just not doing good we're getting a lot of fungus in the garden from uh, the temperatures being so wet and rainy and cold. And uh, it's just something we really get on a daily basis here that I struggle with. Neem oil works great in the garden. I use it all the time as a preventative. And as I'm touching these plants, there are gnats coming out of here. So real quick, I wanna go over if you're getting that. Definitely spray with neem oil. Those are fungus gnats. And that is why we're getting that yellowing and dead on the bottom plus they were lacking some nutrients so that's what that looks like and we're going to go inside and i kind of want to show you how to save the seeds off of all your plants no matter what it is you're saving all righty guys so we're inside in the lanai and i got a lot of projects going on a lot of seeds that i save so this is different beans from the garden these are my bush blue lake which i love if you guys have never grown bush blue lake 274s or 47s they are amazing. They taste so good and it's pretty much what you find in the farmer's markets. They have them beans. These are the seeds we save from our own pods. These are peppers. You know, you can have pepper seeds for days. Um, tomato, look at those tomato seeds. They're awesome. You always wanna wash your seeds off, especially tomatoes, peppers, um, cucumber even we have here that are mixed with my peppers. And you always wanna wash those type of seeds off. Now these cucumber and uh, tomato seeds are really tough to dry because they're really sticky. You can see they stick together, but that's fine. Once they dry, they're gonna break apart and you're gonna have tons of plants from that one tomato. So we had, I just started extracting seeds like crazy from the garden, stuff we were growing, stuff I got from the store. And um, I also saved my strawberry seeds, which are ready. You can see they're I peeled the strawberry and we're drying the seeds. So these were already dried from a while ago. We had saved these. They're really nice and um, they're, they are already germinating. So I tested them out. Look how many seeds we got. Each one is gonna be an individual plant. So that's amazing. I basically label them and you're good to go. Now seeds lose their germination rate as time passes, but they're still good. I've had these seeds for years and look, we have plants, these pepper seeds were in my bag for years. Now they store better in the paper bags than these plastic bags, only because they can breathe better. These plastic bags, they tend to get suffocated, so I usually leave my peppers, anything like real slimy, like cucumbers or tomatoes, I let sit out for a while. Now marigolds, I usually let just dry out in a bowl like this, or you can definitely let dry out on the uh, stalk itself, like this and just remove the top orange part 
open it up and you want to save this black stuff. So all the black little seeds is what you see in my bag over there. We have tons of marigold seeds and each one is going to be a nice little plant. These are pea pods. That's a fresh pea and some fresh beans we cut off of the garden. So this was that brown I showed you, that, that cold temperature damage that happens on beans. But that's okay because I knew it, it might have happened. Plus I got sick and I didn't cover my plants. If I would have covered my plants for that one little cold spurt we had last week, um, they would have made it. My watermelon would have made it, but guess what? We got seeds from it. So look, we have seeds that we've been drying like crazy. Now, half seeds like this, I probably won't save. I'll go through this once they're dry and I won't save those. Um, sometimes they will germinate, believe it or not, and they'll just germinate half a plant. I actually have a video on that that we did in the very beginning, but, um, when we, when I first started, these are all the little watermelon seeds. So we're going to get tons of plants off them two plants we had. So you get so much more in return. These are the beans that I just pulled out of the pods. So you can pull them out fresh or you can wait till it dries out a little bit, put them in a bowl here, like the rest of these peas are and beans and then wait till they dry out. So you hear them, you don't want to hear that. You want to make sure that you hear them jiggling around, that they are dry before you go and put them in a bag. It's not going to hurt leaving them on the counter. And we're going to have a lot of pea plants just off of some funk pods that we got out of the garden, you know, even these, like if I just get one here and there that I see, I'll pull, let it dry and then dry my beans out and peas. Look at that. We got beautiful beans. Now sometimes you get these funky beans. We'll just put them in a different bag. They might germinate. They might not. They might be a, you know, a slow growing plant. They might not be as healthy as those healthy beans, but why not try, right? If it gives you a problem, take it down. At least you tried. Basil stalks we cut. From a long time ago, I've been cutting like crazy and drying. We got some more right here. This is all basil we got off of them stalks we've been cutting out of the garden. Plus I have some in a bag. So these are the ones in a bag that we got already. Look at all these basil plants, guys. These are all the seeds I've been extracting this week. And these are from a few weeks ago, what we did together. So they're good. If you get a little hairs in there, little leaves in there, that's fine. Go ahead and save them. Blueberries, we're extracting the seeds, so I'm pulling seeds out of these. You can see they're sitting on here, and I got seeds drying, so just let them dry. Strawberry seeds, these are the strawberry seeds. So you peel your strawberry on the outer edge. I don't eat seeds anyway, because your body cannot digest seeds. So I have a problem with my stomach when I eat seeds, and I just don't like to ingest them. So I always de-seed everything I eat. Cucumbers, squash, whatever it is. And you can see from doing that, you know, you get plants. Why not? Look at all these strawberry seeds that we're going to have from just letting that strawberry peel. You want to peel it really thin with a peeler on the outer edge or a knife. Get the far enough down because the first layer of seeds isn't what you want. The second layer, that's what you're going to get all these little seeds from. And then um, you'll know once they dry which ones to pull. But um, this is the finished result. So these are all the little seeds we pulled yesterday, actually. And they're still drying. They're a little wet, so they're going to need to be in this bowl for a while. And then they'll dry out really nice, like the uh, strawberry seeds that we had in the little packet. I hope this helps you guys in the best way possible to dry your herbs, fruit, veggies, whatever you have growing in the garden. So you get little plants like these. These are from my garden. It works. Definitely save seeds, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.